writing equation of a quadratic pattern. Uh, I have made some steps uh, which will help you to write the equation of any quadratic pattern if you follow these steps. So the first step is you have to find the second difference okay and okay so this is a formula for any quadratic pattern which is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Your a can never be 0, b and c can be 0, b and c may or may not be 0, but a can never be 0. a is the number or coefficient of x squared. So to find a, you have to find the half of the second difference. So let's do that. So this is how you find the second difference. You first find the first difference. This is the first difference. So this is 4 plus 4 is 8. And if you go backwards, this is 8 minus 4 is 4. 8 plus 6 is 14. So if you go backwards, 14 minus 6 is 8. This is plus 8. So I'm writing the first difference, which is plus 10. Now the second difference is plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. So the first step is to find A, which is the half of the second difference. Your second difference is 2, so you divide it by 2, that's 1. So we can say your A is going to be 1. The next is to find C. So C is by going backwards, uh, which is the value of Y when X is 0. So if you go backwards, which at times doesn't make sense, but mathematically it does make sense. If you go backwards, if you put 0 here, you look at the pattern, what's happening? This is, look at the first difference, 10, 8, 6, 4. So first difference here should be what? 10, 8, 6, 4, it should be 2. And if you want to go backwards, you're taking away. So 4 minus 2 is 2. So this is your C. This is always going to be your C. C is the value of Y when X is equal to 0. So I can say my C is going to be 2. So now you can almost write the equation. So the equation is Y is equal to 1x squared. You don't need to write 1, so let me write 1. So it's 1x squared plus bx plus 2. So the last step is find B by substituting any ordered pair of x and y in the equation. So you can take any ordered pair, so this is, let's take this ordered pair. When x is 1, you should not take this pair. You can take any pair other than this pair. Okay, it should be any ordered pair except the first, of course. I sh you if you put this, you will not, you will not have any value of x. B will be cancelled. So you should not use this. You can use any of this ordered pair. So what is this ordered pair telling me? When x is 1, y is 4. So this value will work in this equation. You can substitute in this equation. So I'm going to put x as 1 and y as 4 in this equation. So I can say 4 is equal to 1 times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus 2. I just substituted x as 1 and y as 4. So this becomes 1. What is, so first you have to use the exponent. 1 times 1 squared is 1 plus b times 1 is b plus 2. So 4 is equal to, this is 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus b. So your b has to be, this implies your b is 1 taking away 3 from both sides. So we can say the equation is y is equal to 1x squared, so I'm not writing 1, which is x squared plus 1x, which is x plus 2. And this is the equation. Now always have the habit of checking whether the equation is right. So if you check, you can take again any ordered pair. This ordered pair tells me when x is 3, this is your x and this is your y. So if you put x is equal to 3 in this equation, you should get y is 14. So let me put x is equal to th 3. 
So this is 3 squared plus 3 plus 2. So this is 9 plus, this is how much? This is 5. 9 plus 5 is 14. So it is right. So this equation is right. Okay. Uh, let me copy this and paste it here. Okay, so we're going to follow. So let me move it slightly to this left. Okay, so yeah, the same pattern. First, find the first difference. So you can pause this video and try to do this yourself. Okay, so the first is to find A. So this is how much? 9 plus 3 plus 8. And this is plus 10. This is plus 12. And plus 14. So your second difference is this is plus 2. This is plus 2. This is plus 2. So your A is I'm writing 1. A is half of the second difference. And then you have to go backwards. So this is 14, 12, 8, sorry, 14, 12, 10, 8. So what should this be? This first difference should be 6. Now you are going backwards. So if you want to go backward, just to show you, 13 minus 8 is, sorry, 11 minus 8 is 3. 21 minus 10 is 11. 33 minus 12 is 21. So if you're going backwards, you should go 3, take away 6, which is negative 3. And that is going to be your 0. So this is your C. So your C is negative 3. So the equation becomes y is equal to ax squared, which is 1x squared. I'm writing only x squared. You're now smarter. So this is bx minus 3. Now let me put this value. When x is 2, y is 11. So when x is 2, it's a good habit to write this because at times students what they do is you substitute the wrong value and you get the wrong answer. So be careful when you're substituting. y is 11, x is 2. So 11 is equal to 2 squared plus b times 2 minus 3. So 11 is equal to, this is 4 plus 2b minus 3. So what is 4 minus 3? So this is 11 is equal to 1 plus 2b. Now taking away 1 from both sides, I can say 10 is equal to 2b. And dividing both sides by 2, b is equal to 5. So the equation is y is equal to, your A is 1, so it is x squared. Your B is 5x. And your C is negative 3. So get your calculators out. You can let me do it faster. So how will you check your answer? So when x is, x is 4, y should be 33. So menu run. So let's put x is equal to so this is 3 squared, okay, plus 5 times 3, take away 3, equal, equal 21, and that's what, what we got, that's what we wanted, okay, when x is 3, y is, when x is 3, y is 21, okay, okay, so let me move on. So let's do without the table. So what are we doing? So yeah, first find the fir first difference. You can again pause this video and try to do this yourself. So this is increasing in 4. 4, 8, 12. Now you should have 16. So A is half of the first second difference. So second difference is second difference is how much? This is going to be four. This is also four. So the second difference is four. So A is going to be half of the second difference, which is two. So going backwards, it's a bit tricky here. So here 
you're decreasing by 4. So 16, 12, 8, 4. Now you should have 0 here. Yeah. So this is going to be 10, 0. Okay, so yeah, I was confused when I did this, so but I had to redo this. So I can say your C is going to be 10. So your equation is y is equal to 2x squared plus bx plus 10. So let's put this in this equation when x is 3, when x is 3, your y is 22. So let's put, be careful when you're substituting 22 is equal to 2 times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus 10. This is where students do most of the mistakes. So this is 22 is equal to, you have to use bed mass. So you should not go three, 2 times 3 squared. So if you are struggling, use your calculator. Okay, it's always good to use a tool if you're not sure. So I will go 2 times 3 squared is not 36, it is how much? It's 18, it should be 18, okay? So this is plus 18 plus 3b plus 10. So what is 18 plus 10? So 22 is equal to 28b, 28b plus 3b. So I'm going to take away 28 from both sides. If we take away 28 from this side, we take away 28 from this side. So this gets cancelled. So what is, this is minus 6 is equal to 3b. So your b is going to be negative 2. b is going to be negative 2. So the equation is, I'll write it here. y is equal to, your a is 2x squared minus 2x plus 10. So let's confirm this. When y is x is 5, y should be 50. So how would you do it? So it's 2 times phi squared minus 2 times phi plus 10 equal 50. So the answer is this equation is right.